Hi, welcome to a Chef Call Rhonda. I'm Rhonda and this is my kitchen. And today I'm going to teach you how to make Cucamella or Cafe Nabili Dan. Today's cooking show, how to make Italian coffee using a Neapolitan coffee pot. Let's grab our trusty wooden spoons. We'll all meet back in the kitchen while I show you how to make this authentic tradition. Okay, so I was lucky enough to purchase and get my hands on this Neapolitan coffee pot uh, when traveling Italy this summer. And I want to briefly describe its components and then get into the coffee making. So it comes with a teeny tiny lid, um, and that's mostly for decoration. Then you have the coffee pot itself, which you can see here. And then it has a inner filter and coffee chamber. And this right here is the top of the inner filter. And you can see it has teeny tiny holes. And the filter itself removes from the water chamber. And you can see that too has the teeny tiny holes. Next, we have the base where we will add our filtered water. Now today I'm using about 10 ounces of room temperature filtered water and I'm going to use the Ely brand espresso but you can choose any brand you wish. I find Ely just perfect. So first off I want to explain the water level. You see that little teeny tiny hole? You want to add the water below the surface of that hole. Once you finish adding the water, you may set the water chamber aside. Next, it's time to add the espresso. Now, I'm going to use tablespoons. I typically utilize three tablespoons, three level tablespoons. I pat the espresso well into the chamber utilizing the back of that tablespoon like so. That ensures a nice base for the water to run through the espresso. So packing it down is essential. It's a key component to making the cucamella or the Cafe Napoli Dan or Neapolitan coffee. Next, I'm going to take the lid and I'm only going to hand tighten onto the filter chamber. You do not want to overturn this piece. Next, we'll slide the inner filter into the water chamber like so. All right, and the next step in the process is to add the coffee pot and hand tighten two or three times to situate the coffee pot atop the chambers like so. All right, we're ready, set, go to move on over to the stove. Here we go. Here we are at the stove. I'm going to put my pilot, and that's my small pilot, on high. I'm going to place the coffee pot directly atop that pilot and again that little hole that we spoke about I'm going to wait and watch for about three to five minutes until I see a bubble and burst of water and a slight semblance of steam appearing through the pot it's worth the wait so good so tasty I can hardly wait to have my afternoon coffee the Neapolitan way. All right, can you see? Can you see the steam? There it is. I'm going to take the lid and remove it and set it aside. I'm going to also remove the coffee pot from the pilot and close the heat. And I'm going to let the water sit there for about a minute or two. And soon after, it's time to flip. And that's the magic here. We're going to flip the coffee pot completely over and around so that the water will filter through the espresso and make the cucamella 
or that Cafe Nabilidan or that afternoon coffee that we all so desire. And there we go. And it's quite normal and important to note that yes, you will get a little seepage and a little spill of that water. So be careful. Have a clean tea towel at hand. And let's pour that coffee and have a bite of that wonderful two o'clock treat in the background. Well, I wanted to take a moment and say many, many thanks for watching today's cooking show. If you haven't subscribed to A Chef Called Rhonda, please would you consider subscribing to A Chef Called Rhonda. If you want to get your hands on this authentic Neapolitan coffee pot, please see the description box below and click on that link to purchase your very own Neapolitan coffee maker. Until we meet again, I bid you arrivederci, salute, bravo, chin down. <laughs>